Hello friends, in ETL, if you want to have the transpose of the data, let's have an example, like you want to have the quarterly report of your annual sales data. So this perspective of the data is called pivoting. Now the second question is, is it possible in Spark? Yes, it's possible. But let's first understand what is this pivoting using an Excel sheet because you might have heard of the pivot table in Excel. Let's first try that using some student data and then we will check is it possible to do in PySpark using Databricks. Let's start today's session and please to watch till the end. Now my data is simple student data where it contains student ID name and all three exam marks subject wise. So there are columns like student ID, student name, year, exam type, subject and marks. Now if I want to get a report of average marks in subjects for all exams per student per year, then in Excel we can use the pivot table. So here we have given only one year. Let's extend this data for like uh, adding uh, multiple years. So I just change it to 2019 for the student number one. And I just give these marks to him for the different year and like for this student again i will create the 2019 let's get it and then i will give the 20 20 marks of student number one to student number two now you have like two years of data for both the students. Now how can you get that kind of report what I just explained. Let's add one more tab and there actually you can go for the insert and pivot table. So that is not my intention to uh, like show you how Excel work but that is just an like uh, for proper explanation. I just use what is pivoting. Take it. Then I will write. I get uh, what I need to do. I should have the exam type and uh, then student name and then I will have the marks. And marks should be the average marks not some of the marks okay and there will be year as well and year should be here so if I just remove something here like I just remove the grand total then this data is looking good to me uh, if you cannot see i can give it bold yeah so from that data you can get this kind of report so year wise what is the average marks for this student now you can add exam subject as well okay so in each subject what is the average marks or you can add it here as well okay so you can get this kind of report so this is called pivoting of the data that means 
you have transposed the rows into columns okay and you can write this as well okay so here you can see this is the transpose column so what is the transpose column here here is the transpose column and you can get like uh, let me drop subtotal as well yeah then you can get the proper average marks for uh, for uh, like you just remove the exam type and then you can get yeah so this is the average marks of english for year 2019 and this is the marks for english for the year 2020 and this is like for all subject and these are the average now can i create this kind of report in spark let's start now to have this data uh, in uh, databricks we need to uh, save it as a CSV and this look like this now I want to load this data in let's go to the Databricks and click on data and you just create table and upload file and then you can browse it and then I loaded the file so this is my file location I just copy it go to my workspace and I start writing my code now let's open the notebook and first I will display the file location whether it's loaded correctly so display dbutils dot fs dot ls and then I will give the file location. Um, there is a space before. And yeah, I get my file in the correct location. Now I need to read the file. So I will have one data frame like student is equal to let's have it in a sql context and then dot read and then dot format is equal to csv and then i have the option like header is equal to true and infer schema this kind of thing and then i will load the file so this is my file loading has completed and I will just check the data yeah so this is my data now I want to create the same pivot table I have done in my excel sheet so there should be some group by expression So that is student name and subject. So I can copy it from here. Student name and subject. I just type. 
and now I will have the aggregate expression. So that will have like average of marks. And then I will apply the whole logic. And then I will apply the pivot column as well. So pivot column is here and then I will get the aggregation expression and that will be this one average of marks and then I will just type show. So you see that this is coming perfectly. Just compare it with this one. So it looks like the same. Now let's see whether I can write any uh, Spark SQL to do the same. Okay. And you can just do some kind of order by clause here to make them uh, rationalized. But the idea, the pivoting, the transpose of columns, you can see happening in both the places. Now let's see. And uh, I think that could be your home task. Can you put in the comment what will be the Spark SQL to do the same thing?